Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter, and Agoracom TV, a daily, fast-paced, edgy show, bringing the best press release out of the small cap space every morning at the open, so you hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great small cap investments. Friday, August the 13th, no superstitions around here. Let's get straight to three great press releases. Starting off first with China Industrial Waste Management trades on the OTC under the stock symbol CIWT. The company put out its second quarter results for the period ended June 30th. Uh, the company is environmental services and solutions uh, provider in China. Here are the highlights. Revenue up 100% to $4.9 million. Gross profit up 94% to $3.1 million. Net income up 178% to $1.2 million or $0.07 cents a share. I'm going to talk about that in a second. And that, and that compares to uh, just $400,000 in profit and $0.03 cents per share last year. So they did pretty well there on a comparative basis. Now, getting back to that earnings per share number, $0.07. Cents, multiply that, extrapolate that over four quarters, that's $0.28. Cents. Yes, there is risk that they can't match that number. But also, you got to remember, given the, given the top line and bottom line growth, it's entirely possible they can increase that earnings per share number. So let's keep it flat at $0.28 cents if they can make Maintain that company closed yesterday at a dollar seventy six. You got a company here trading potential at six point three times earnings with massive top and bottom line growth. So that may be great value. Go do your due diligence. Next up, Minera Andes trades on the TSX big board under the stock symbol MAI. And for our friends in the United States on the OTC under on the under MNEAF. Uh, they put out their second quarter results. Always great to see a mining company with actual operating results. Here it goes. Net income, $4.6 million. That equates to two cents per, per share. Uh, compared to net income of $900,000 and zero cents per share uh, for the same period last year. So great year-over-year -year growth. I've got some sequential numbers as well. Net proceeds uh, from the sale of silver and gold total $49.4 million. By the way, they own 49% interest in the San Jose mine that they're uh, getting the results out of. So $49.4 million, that compares to $27.8 million for the first quarter of 2010. That's, uh, that's an increase of $21.6 million sequentially. Great number there. They're saying it's due to higher production and higher realized metal prices. Net income, $11.3 million. That's an $8.9 million increase sequentially. Again, so obviously what they had is a ramp up in production. I don't know if they can do that every quarter, but they've definitely gone to the next level in production. Uh, speaking of production, uh, they produced 1.22 million ounces of silver and 19,700 ounces of gold during the period in question. Uh, production cost, 9.22 an ounce for silver, $602 an ounce for gold. A little higher than, uh, than other situations, but nonetheless, they're producing and they're generating cash flow, so that's a good number. Closed yesterday at 82 cents, about dead smack in the middle of the 52-week range, a dollar 20 to the high and 59 cents to the low. And finally, getting back to China, Sino Gas International trades on the OTC under SGAS. They put out their first half 2010 financial results uh, for the period ended June 30th. Here are the numbers: revenue up 4% to 12.87 million dollars, gross profit up 44% to $4 million, just over $4 million, and operating income is up 62.5% to $1.84 million. I don't have a net income number here. I don't think it was provided, so uh, it may be a bit of a red flag because you, you always want to see what the net number is at the end of the day. So go take a look at the 10Q. Uh, what does the company do? They're a developer of natural gas distribution systems in small and medium-sized uh, cities in China. Uh, they're distributed to residential, commercial, and industrial customers. Here what I here's what I really like about them. Uh, they've got, they, they deal in 35 small and medium-sized cities, and they've got 152,000 residential and seven industrial customers. So definitely some commercial acceptance. Closed yesterday, 45 cents, just a hair above their 52-week low of 40 cents and significantly below the 52-week high of $1.40. So do some due diligence to find out if there are any uh, skeletons in the closet there. That's a wrap. As always, quality over quantity. Three great press releases. If you look for more great resources news out of the small cap space and you watch this on Globe Investor, either look below me or to the left where you'll find other great webcasts and press releases uh, over this week. And if you watch this on Agoracom, make sure you watch the show on a daily basis. Take a look at the press releases and get into our marketplace of great companies that you can filter by industry and exchange so you can find your next great small cap investment. That's a wrap. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. See you on Monday.